We want to welcome all current and prospective students of Smartest Data Courses. Our commitment, expertise lies in designing concise and engaging courses that cover a wide range of subjects. Our goal is to expand your knowledge while providing an enjoyable learning experience through the use of multiple choice quizzes. Most importantly, it is essential to keep your brain active, as it functions similar to a muscle. I hope that taking part in these courses may even possibly help prevent the onset of Alzheimer's disease. This I do not know, but I hope to be the case. The video is on the course, the Renaissance and it's called Renaissance Art and the Artists. To take the courses, enroll at www. Smartest Data. Courses. Now over to the questions. How did the Renaissance period and Reformation affect the purpose of art? The purpose of art was greatly influenced by the Renaissance period and Reformation, leading to significant changes. A sense of dissatisfaction with the Catholic Church's corruption and abuses spread among Christians during this period, prompting them to actively seek reform and purification of their faith. Various aspects of society were influenced by this movement, and art was no exception. It emerged as an interesting medium for communicating religious concepts and advancing the principles of the new Protestant faith. Who was Leonardo da Vinci? What were his disciplines and his greatest works? Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian Renaissance polymath and artist, was renowned for his diverse talents. As a painter, sculptor, architect, scientist, inventor, engineer, and mathematician, he left an indelible mark on the world. His masterpieces, like the iconic Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, have achieved global acclaim. Da Vinci's scientific pursuits encompassed the study of human anatomy, astronomy, plant development, invention designs, and geological formations. His contributions in both art and science continue to inspire and fascinate generations. What is the Last Supper? The Last Supper is one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous masterpieces, created between 1495 and 1498. It measures approximately 460 centimeters times 880 centimeters and covers an entire wall in the dining hall of the convent of Santa Maria della Grazie in Milan, Italy. The fresco depicts the dramatic moment when Jesus reveals to his disciples that one of them will betray him. Leonardo's meticulous attention to detail is evident in the intricate facial expressions and gestures of each disciple, capturing their disbelief, shock, and sorrow. The painting's composition is carefully arranged, with Jesus at the center, surrounded by his twelve disciples. Leonardo's innovative use of perspective creates a sense of depth and realism, drawing the viewer into the scene. The Last Supper is not only a religious painting but also a powerful narrative that conveys the complex emotions and human drama surrounding this pivotal event in Christianity. What is the Vitruvian Man? The Vitruvian Man is a famous sketch created by Leonardo da Vinci in the late 15th century. It is based on the writings of the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius, who believed that the human body was the perfect example of proportion and harmony. In this sketch, da Vinci meticulously studies the ideal human proportions and their connection to geometry. The figure of the man is shown standing with his arms and legs outstretched, fitting perfectly within a circle and a square. These shapes represent the harmony and balance found in nature and architecture. The circles and squares surrounding the figure serve as a visual representation of the mathematical principles that govern the human body's proportions. This artwork showcases da Vinci's deep understanding of anatomy, mathematics, and his fascination with the interconnectedness of art and science. The Vitruvian Man has become an iconic symbol of the Renaissance and is celebrated for its beauty, precision, and the timeless principles it represents.
What is the significance of the Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa is believed to be a portrait of Lisa Gherardini, a woman from Florence, Italy. The painting is done on a wooden panel using oil paint, a medium that was gaining popularity during da Vinci's time. Measuring approximately 30 by 21 inches, the artwork depicts a half-length figure of a woman seated in front of a landscape. Her enigmatic smile and captivating gaze have intrigued viewers for centuries, evoking countless interpretations and speculations about the subject's emotions and thoughts. The use of sfumato adds a softness and depth to the painting, creating an almost dreamlike quality. The Mona Lisa's combination of technical mastery, artistic innovation, and enduring mystery has solidified its status as one of the most famous and celebrated paintings in the world. How did Michelangelo's mother influence his artistic growth? Francesca Neri recognized Michelangelo's natural talent from a young age and understood the importance of nurturing his artistic abilities. While his father, Ludovico Buonarroti, was skeptical of Michelangelo's artistic pursuits, Francesca believed in her son's potential and became his staunch advocate. She ensured that he had access to art supplies, such as paints, brushes, and clay, which allowed him to experiment and refine his skills. Francesca also sought out mentors and teachers who could provide guidance and instruction to Michelangelo, further fueling his artistic growth. Her unwavering support and belief in his abilities gave Michelangelo the confidence to pursue a career as an artist and to overcome the obstacles and criticisms he faced along the way. Without Francesca's instrumental role in his artistic development, Michelangelo may not have achieved the iconic status that he holds today. What is so remarkable about the Sistine Chapel ceiling? The Sistine Chapel ceiling, painted by Michelangelo between 1508 and 1512, is a masterpiece of Renaissance art. The vivid colors used in the frescoes are still vibrant and captivating, showcasing Michelangelo's keen sense of color and his ability to create depth and dimension. The meticulous workmanship is evident in every brushstroke, as Michelangelo painstakingly detailed each figure and scene with precision and care. The great scale of the ceiling, covering an area of over 5,000 square feet, is awe-inspiring and adds to the grandeur of the artwork. The combination of these elements, along with the religious themes depicted, creates a truly remarkable and timeless masterpiece that continues to captivate viewers from around the world. The Significance of Michelangelo's David Sculpture? Michelangelo's David sculpture is widely regarded as one of the greatest works of art in history. The statue was commissioned by the city of Florence and took three years to complete. It is carved from a single block of Carrara marble, which presented a significant challenge due to its size and hardness. Michelangelo's mastery is evident in the intricate details, such as the muscles and veins, that give the sculpture a sense of realism. The statue captures David in a moment of intense concentration and determination, just before his battle with the giant Goliath. Its monumental size and attention to anatomical accuracy make it a true marvel of Renaissance art. The David sculpture has become an iconic symbol of Florence and a testament to Michelangelo's genius. What was the influence of the Medici family in Michelangelo's career? During his time in the Medici Gardens, Michelangelo had the privilege of studying classical sculptures, which allowed him to develop a deep appreciation for the skill and artistry of ancient works. This exposure greatly influenced his artistic vision and style, as he began to incorporate classical elements into his own creations. Additionally, his relocation to Lorenzo de' Medici's home further enriched his artistic education. Surrounded by a community of talented artists and scholars, Michelangelo was able to engage in intellectual discussions, 
exchange ideas, and learn from the best in the field. This immersive environment broadened his knowledge and understanding of various art forms, from painting and architecture to poetry and philosophy. The influence of the Medici family and their artistic circle played a crucial role in shaping Michelangelo's career and establishing him as one of the greatest artists of the Renaissance. What is the legacy of Renaissance art? These artists pushed the boundaries of artistic expression by experimenting with new techniques and materials, such as oil paint and perspective. They also embraced a more naturalistic approach, studying the human body and anatomy to create more realistic and lifelike figures. The Renaissance art also reflected a shift in values, as it celebrated the individual and the human experience. It emphasized the importance of human emotions, intellect, and beauty, often depicting scenes from mythology, religion, and history with a new sense of depth and complexity. The art of this period also played a crucial role in promoting and reflecting the ideas of the humanist movement, which emphasized the worth and potential of the individual. The Renaissance art not only transformed the visual arts, but it also had a profound influence on literature, architecture, and other fields. Its impact can be seen in the works of later artists and in the continued appreciation and study of Renaissance art in museums and educational institutions worldwide.